And I think one of the hardest things about trying to step into the divine feminine and removing the armor of who you had to become to survive in a world that wasn't protecting you with protective adults and, you know, a protective father, a protective mother, what you should have had when you were a child is recognizing actually that vulnerability and stepping into the divine feminine softness is actually the ultimate strength. And when we're children and we're going through this process, we rely on our caregivers to keep us strong. And this is why most women, most feminines, um, tend to step into the masculine energy because they have to become their own fathers. They have to become their own husbands. They have to become their own, you know, wherever it is in your life, you have to become your own protector. And so feminines lean in, become the masculine, put on that very strong armor of the masculine self um, and get stuck in it. Because what the problem is, is when you're in your divine masculine, when you're in your masculine energy, masculine women draw in feminine men. So then you get these partners that come in and keep this feedback loop going of I'm a masculine as a woman. I'm drawing in feminine men who I either need to treat like little boys and sons or I need to project manage because they're fucking useless or they're so feminine that I'm having to stay in the masculine to please him. And then at that point, when we recognize that softness, when we move back and we lean out and we turn ourselves towards our divine feminine natures, it requires the level of strength to recognize that we do not need the armor to protect ourselves. That actually, when we sit in our divine feminine natures, the beauty of the divine feminine isn't about putting boundaries in through toughness, isn't about like sorting through people, the ch you know, the wheat from the chaff. It isn't about doing that in the aggressive masculine manner. When we move back and we sit in our divine feminines, we suddenly fall so much more into our intuition that we can see a feminine man from a mile off because he gives us the ick. We can see people who are using us, abusing us from far away because we've quietened ourselves enough to lean out and sit in our intuition so we don't need the armor anymore. But to get to that position requires so much faith in ourselves and also requires such a heavy amount of healing to get to that position to be able to trust ourselves enough to lean out. And this is why most people who are going through the healing process have to go through the hermit process as well. They have to step away from life and people so they can learn that they are safe, they're safe on their own, and then they can come back and to integrate and recognize that by putting in boundaries in a safe manner and recognizing people through your intuition, actually you can avoid having to lean in and be in that divine masculine energy because as a feminine, it's wounded energy and it, it, it destroys your life.